Good morning. It's about to be another stinking hot day here, I reckon. And today we're going to put in our mobile phone or cell phone booster. So we've gone with the cell Go. I'm pretty sure this is the only legal cell phone or mobile phone booster in Australia. We've got an aerial as well and a universal aerial mount. So we're going to put that on the front of the car and then install this. And I'm really interested to see how this is gonna go where we are today. So this is our family property here and there's never been reception. So like I'm 30, been here and coming here for my whole life and there's never been mobile phone reception. We're sort of in a valley with some mountains and stuff. So I'm really curious to see if it is gonna give us any signal where we are. But the plan for this is just a bit of a backup if we're in some remote locations and also just giving us internet and phone reception if we need it. So this is carrier lock. So this one's locked to Telstra because it goes off of their towers. And this is sort of what comes in the box. I've already opened it, so that's why it looks so messy. There's a few instructions and things. There is an app we've got to register it with. So this is the main unit itself. It's actually pretty small and compact. I think there are a few different versions of this, but yeah, that's the main unit. Then we've got an internal aerial. So that's what gives us the boosted signal or the signal inside and around the vehicle. There's a power cord, some screws and stuff. And then this was the external aerial that we got. So from the looks of it, this bit looks like it's pretty easy to install. It's just a couple of plugs and some screws. And I think putting the aerial in is gonna be the main complicated bit, but even that should be okay. So let's start putting that in. All right, so we're just doing a bit of a test fit of the aerial mount. I'm gonna try and use one of the guard bolts if we can sort of getting a rough idea of placement. And I think I'm gonna bend this a little bit because if we put it in, it's sort of pointing out that way. I'm gonna try and get it straight and up a bit more. All right, so we're just doing some mount mods, mounty car mods, if you will. Are you right? <laughs> just, just, oh. wow. Hopefully that's not copyrighted. <laughs> Maybe we should register it. <laughs> it could be for many things. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh dear. Have we lost it or? Yeah. Just... No, I found it. It's just here. <laughs> Some Greek style yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> tubs and tubs of it. <laughs> Alright, so we're now going to put the aerial mount in. I'm going to use that guard bolt. I've got a little bit of rubber there as a bit of a spacer. That was a leftover bit from the diesel heater install, and that's just there to level it out. And I've drilled an extra hole in there and an extra hole in there. Yeah, put that in. And then for the rest of the mount, I'm just going to put some short self-tapping metal screws in. All right, so where this cable runs in and over the guard, I'm just gonna put a bit of heat shrink on just to give it a bit of extra protection. All right, so on the sprint up, there is a bit of a cable entry port through the firewall, just had a zip tie around it and I have clipped that off. All right, so it's a bit hard to pull the aerial cable through, so we've just pushed this thicker cable through. Now, try and take that off. So the self go came with a cigarette lighter style plug and 
the cables weren't labeled, but I've just cut that off and then pulled this apart to see which was the positive and negative. And the positive was the one that didn't have any writing on it because they're both black. And we're now just hardwiring that into our 12 volt fuse blocks. So we've run the aerial cable through the firewall and under the floor to here. We've run our power cord as well and we've got our internal antenna. So we're not going to hard mount this yet because I'm thinking I was going to put it on the back of here, but just with the diesel heater there, I was trying to minimize heat. So I think we'll put it on the back of our cabinets once they're installed, just to give us a bit of space either here or over there. So we're just going to plug it in and just test it out for now. And it does recommend having some separation between the two antennas as well. So hopefully what we've got is enough. So with the cable coming in, it's got a separate earth on it that you ground the device with. I'm not too sure why, because that would have an earth in it, but I'm just gonna follow the instructions. So we've set it all up, plugged it in, and we've actually had it running and restarted it a couple of times over the last hour or two, and it's doing nothing for us. And I know that I said we don't have signal here. We're right on the fringe of the maps for 4G and 3G when you look at it, like literally within like, yeah, very close, like within 50 to 100 meters of where the map shows that we should have coverage. And I have left my phone in my car a couple of times in similar areas around here and have come back and there's been messages that have come through from it. So it's very close to having signal here, but it hasn't boosted anything for us yet. So I know it is meant to boost signal that you do have, but I have also seen people test it and turn it on when they've had no signal and it's given them a couple of bars of 4G or 3G so I think we're just going to test it out in a couple of different spots and just see how it performs. But yeah, so far a little disappointed, especially for the cost of it. I thought we were going to get signal where we are here, just given how close we are to having it. But yeah, for the price of it, a little bit disappointed. The app was a bit painful as well and the instructions that came with it, not particularly amazing. So yeah, we'll just see how we go with it. All right, so it's the end of the weekend. We're heading home. We're on the driveway. We're probably about 200 meters from where we tested the self I go before. And we've just picked up a bar of 4G and I'm just trying to load something at the moment. So we're going to just see how it works. I'll put screen record on here. So I'm trying to load a speed test at the moment and I've got one bar of 3G. So we're going to plug this in and see, it's dropping stuff everywhere. So red flashing means it's in error state, but looking on my screen now, we've just gone up to three bars of 4G. So, and now we're full 4G. So we got 6.8 megabits per second download from unusable, like it wouldn't even run the test. And it actually loaded this speed test only when I had plugged it in a second before we started filming. It wasn't working at all, we had nothing and we were so close to where we were in the reception. So I talked about we were just outside that reception range. So if you've got no bars of reception at all, it looks like it just doesn't work. Maybe it does in some spots, but once we had that one bar that we couldn't even use, it has boosted it. I think we're going to try it out in a couple of different spots where we've got low reception or no reception and just see how it goes. But yeah, sort of mixed results and still not super happy with that it wasn't working when we we're so close to being in reception. All right, so we're going to wrap up the mobile phone booster video there. Just some final thoughts on this one. The install for it was really easy. It was pretty much just connecting up a couple of wires. 
the only sort of fiddly bit is the aerial, depending where you want to put that. Uh, instructions that came with it, not amazing. The app, also not amazing, but you can kind of work it out. And then in terms of the performance, so we haven't given it a great deal of testing. Where we are now, as you would have seen, it didn't boost. When I double checked the coverage maps, it, it's almost, we're so close to being within coverage. We might even be in coverage technically on the maps and it sort of didn't do anything there. Once we had one bar of 3G that wasn't actually usable, we switched this on and it boosted it up and it was, you know, gave us decent speed in terms of internet and it made it usable. I'm a little bit disappointed and, you know, maybe it's a little bit naive of me to think it was going to boost signal where we didn't quite have it, but I had seen some reviews where people were getting that and some videos and stuff as well. So, yeah, if you're looking to do this yourself, um, just be aware it's, it boosts, it's going to boost the signal that you are getting. Maybe in some places it will boost signal where there isn't any. Um, but yeah, if you think this is going to give you signal everywhere in Australia especially, it's definitely not the case. Um, and for the price point, yeah, I'm on the fence as to whether I buy it again. Um, yeah, if you want to get internet everywhere, you're probably looking at a satellite option, something like Starlink. Obviously, it has a startup cost and you know a pretty expensive monthly cost as well, whereas this is a one-off purchase. Maybe you want to do both, I don't know. It really depends on your budget and what you're looking to get. It's not going to solve all your internet and phone problems, but it's going to help where you have those sort of fringe areas. So, yeah, we're going to keep testing it, obviously, as we use it more and travel around to some of those areas where reception might be a bit iffy. And, you know, maybe my opinion will change on how useful or whether it was a worthwhile investment. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so just a bit of an update to give you an idea how close we were to being in reception where we were trying to test that booster. This is where I'm standing and that's where we were testing it. I've got screen record on at the moment and oh, it just dropped off, but we just had a bar of reception and from here to there it just did nothing. So a little bit of further testing there to show you just how close we were to being within the range and how it just wasn't boosting that.